Sundays at mom's, she'd take me to church every once in a while, but it's kind of my grandma that forced us, you know, right, go right. once in a while. She'd pick us up in the morning sometimes, just to get okay. us to go to church. You know? So you had a background of some religious stuff going on, but it wasn't real. It wasn't really pushy. I mean, right. I think there was a lot of uh, heart in it. Mm -hmm. That's what kind of kept me in faith. Um, there was a lot of uh, struggle in my life mm -hmm. earlier on because my parents, I mean, uh, they didn't get along very well. So it, I didn't really mm -hmm. have very much to lean on at the time. Right. And when I was nine years old, it was, I'd say eight or nine years old, I think I found God. Um, I was laying in my bed. And mm. I had kind of came to the conclusion that I wasn't going to have anybody someday. And I asked God if I could just lean on him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and ever since yeah. then, it's like, I don't know. I, I kind what, of fell away. Yeah. What, what happened? Time. Yeah. What happened at eight or nine? What was going on when you knew? A lot the... of fear grew in my heart. So yeah. it was kind of a, a faith by fear yes. in God. Yes. Is that what you maybe call it? Yes. Okay. A lot of things weren't going right for me in life. Okay. Um, a lot of things I'm not proud of. Right. And right. And then all of a sudden, um, it's almost like God used Satan to bring me back to him. You know, Interesting. More or less. Okay. Because there was, I mean, I used to really get into horror films. Right. And I'll be honest with you, I like. And honest, and then I'd have dreams at night where mm -hmm. these demons would literally show up, populate your dreams, right? And I mean, I, there was one dream I remember vividly and choked me out mm -hmm. to the point where I I cried for the Lord and Savior, and mm -hmm. everything just disappeared, gone. I woke up and I started breathing like I was mm -hmm. literally about to gas out, right? And I should say, I started to realize how real this stuff really was. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. as of, I should say, before I met my wife, yeah, I wasn't serious about finding a woman to settle down with. Mm -hmm. You know, I was trying to have fun with life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, then eventually I got to the point where I met Caitlin. And what did God do through Caitlin coming into your life? What did God start doing there? There was a lot of responsibility that I couldn't handle on my own. And, I, and God knew that. <laughs> And he made me realize what a marriage was. Right. And marriage is two people coming together and becoming one. Because two is better than one. And God mm -hmm. knew that we needed a helper as men. Because mm -hmm. we're, I mean, we're just people. We're, mm -hmm. we're human, human beings. And um, I think God kind of realized that uh, I wasn't going to do it alone. Yeah. <laughs> I sure as heck wasn't going to do it alone. And then she right. came to my life and everything kind of started to form. And you're like, what has God been doing lately in your life to help you grow? Humbling me, humbling me. He's been making me. And that's the thing. It's like I told, I actually asked God, I said, you know, I went through a lot to get to this point before I met Caitlin. Mm -hmm. And I said, could you just humble me a little less? <laughs> why honestly. Why baptism now? Why Why was it important to you now? See, to... I got ba baptized when I was younger. So I didn't really think there was much um, meaning in that. And God had kind of told me, like, um, through multiple people. I wouldn't say that he, he told me specifically, but it kind of revealed itself as time went on. Like a lot of my friends have also told me, Zach, you need to take the next step. You know, God needs to, if you want God to start revealing himself and showing himself to you, you got to be able to walk the walk as well. And you can't just. So start taking some steps. So yes. if you say you're a believer, yeah. what are you doing now to, um, um, I guess, live out your faith? Is what is? Is there anything specific you can think of that you're striving to do? Trying to find my calling. Uh, I'd say that's the biggest thing. I know I, I I grew up as a kid that liked to work with my hands, mm -hmm. but I feel like I could do more for God. And that is, I mean, I'm reading the book of Ephesians right now. And I think that, I don't think that's by coincidence. I know a lot of Christians say that nothing happens with coincidence. You got to start mm -hmm. believing that and knowing mm -hmm. that's truth. Mm -hmm. um, but it talks a lot about, Paul finding your, or Paul call, or saying that you need to find or realize what your calling is. 
Right. And, you know, I, I don't know. It's It's been rough. I mean, um, I don't know. I feel like I could do more for God. Like, mm -hmm. I, I've experienced so much wealth from him that I don't know if I'm doing enough for him. And I know I'm not doing enough for him. Right. Right. So that, I guess, if to reiterate, is finding what I need mm -hmm. in him and what I can provide for him as a vessel. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. great, Zach.